for many years, I think most people looked at any connections to Africa as being negative. A lot of it is borne by slavery, um, by that connection, the negativeness of that. But I think, I think we, we know enough now that there is no need for us to restrict the way we teach history to just um, once the ship left Africa. I think that's, that's what a, a lot of people concentrate on. I, I think there really is no reason for us not to include and connect to cultural stuff that's going on now, all that uh, that's historical. We came up here to experience hands-on what history is really about. I mean, you know, we have been taught history from since primary school right up to secondary school and even tertiary, which is college. But most of the times you don't get that experience to come out in the field and actually do something that will be revolved around history. So today we got that experience, today we got that opportunity, and I think it was a really good experience to do so. As it is now, me learning about Christopher Columbus in 1492, How's that, how's that helped me? Because Grenada was here before Columbus ever came here. That has, that has no relevance to me personally. But learning about the developments of African kingdoms and knowing that I came from that kind of place that was able to make things regardless of the situations and the peril that they were placed in is, I hold it far more dear to my heart than any fact I could hear about Columbus slaughtering native peoples. I think we have the tail end basically of a trend that has been going on for quite a while but no one really paid attention to it, I think. Um, it's probably been a number of years now that um, students doing CXC have been decreasing but nobody has really noticed or paid attention to it. Because of course secondary school is connected to primary school and if you do not emphasize history and civics in primary school then you will, by the time people get to secondary school, um, they will not express an interest in it. There are some schools um, where history is not a, a subject that is being taught on the curriculum at that particular level, at the fifth, fourth, fifth form level. Um, however, it is a subject on the school's curriculum from the Ministry of Education standpoint. Um, but I think probably what is happening, some persons are complaining as to the point of introduction. So now it is basically at the secondary level, it is introduced mostly at the Form 3 level. Most importantly, I think what we need to look at is the way in which Caribbean history is taught. Probably we need to make the subject more alive and um, make it a little bit more interesting so, so that the students would really want to do the examination. I'm having taught in a secondary school for some years. I don't find anything really wrong about the history syllabus, although maybe I think they need to include more of our local history. Um, Grenadians must know their own local history, to know who we are as Grenadians, to know where we have come from and to know where we are going. I see Caribbean leaders cannot negotiate when they go out in international arena because most of them do not know who they are. Once you know where you come from, you know your history. I mean your history for centuries then you'll be able to know what occurred before, what may occur in the future, so you'll be able to make a proper decision. And I think knowing who I am and knowing who we are as a people is most important. So my quest is to use that oral history with the historical text that was written in biasness, but yet still we could depict the truth based on the, when you correspond the oral history and you can make it a reality because we, the, the heritage don't die. I heard so many versions of this. I didn't know that you actually had more to the story. And I didn't know that it was so in depth with our people around. But even though people have very biased versions of it, I still and I really choose inside. But we should do more stuff like this, like going out in the field and actually having people who um, are actually related to the past people before our ancestors who could actually speak to us because um, the, the basic knowledge from the teachers um, who actually learned it from the book just as, as we are doing now, um, it, may, it may not be 100% relevant since they do not have like people who actually experienced um, 
the events before that told them what happened. So it is good that we learn from the Renaissance to come right down to um to, to the Carnagos and the and the Spanish and English. But I find the Shakshi focus more on the Grenadian history, the Carnagos, and all the history because I'm doing a history major. And before I actually came to before I actually came here, I didn't actually have the full story. And this, the, um, the person who is actually doing building the village here, I find he's doing a very good job because he's actually teaching us, teaching us Grenadians, young persons, where we come from, and giving us a better full story on the Carnagos and the French. History isn't always framed in the correct way. People see it instead of people see it as just memorizing a lot of dates and names and places, you know, in in Europe that doesn't really mean anything to them. It's just learning facts by rote, like it doesn't mean anything so i believe that if they stick with it to the cave level they'll see that it does hold a lot more significance to them in terms of you learn more about um, caribbean history but you also learn how the caribbean was so important to the development of the now as we say developed world it's important for history teachers to to give uh, students a very practical approach to history I, I, I think a lot of students come away feeling, and lots of people have this idea that history is just about, about you know, learning facts, about learning dates and repeating and regurgitating the facts, and history is n not that at all. We are not encouraging our kids to do history and to learn because I think the communication between parents and children has changed um, because of our technology and things like that, so we don't have the transfer of knowledge that we would have on those usual basis so we need to come up with different ways of looking at um, how kids learn today and I think like you said we invented the whole classroom structure back before the industrial revolution we have industrial has it moved on and we're still using the same model to educate our children you know we live in a digital age and you know that whole concept of sitting in a classroom and singing songs and reciting things is passe we need to move on and if we're not willing to change that we're going to be in the same place and asking the same questions 10, 20, 30 years from now. It's very important for people to know about where they come from, where, what their ancestors did. Because you know now they sure and they like all they're doing is their phones and it is all they how they're learning. But to actually see and do what their ancestors did, that is a very good experience. And it was wonderful. And so it's, yes, it's good to teach Caribbean history in secondary schools, especially you now because I don't know what going on with no other children. But knowing your history is really good, knowing about your ancestors, knowing what they had to go through, knowing how our society came about is a really good thing. So it doesn't matter if you can't apply it, you can always pass it on. And passing on history from generation to generation is what keeps history alive, is what teaches other generations what really happened in those times. And then as days go by, you add history to the history that's already there. So it's actually really good. So it doesn't matter. You, it doesn't matter if you can't apply it to your daily life. Just knowing it and learning it and being able to pass it on, it's the best thing that any individual should think about. When history is taught well, right, students be learn how to become responsible citizens. Because history, some students have the idea that they don't need history in life. But history makes life. If you don't know who you are, you'll be forever trying to find out who you are and uh, you can very easily become a culturized and feel inferior to other cultures and this is how history makes people into very responsible citizens because history is for life <laughs>